Okay, that's one five minute video done. Now that we've got a background that animates, we need to bring in the buttons uh, that will complete our menu screen. They're all supplied for you. This is how you can bring them in. There's the first one. This is a whack a monster game. So I'll call that one whack so that we know what it is. Back to the library. If I scroll up, there's a rolling one. Just drag and drop. This is the rolling game using the physics generator. Back to the library. There's the missing number game. Missing number. Call that one number say. Just so you know what it is when you're referring to it later on. It's always a good idea to rename. There's the last one. Control and collect, he's called it. I actually think it more it's a chasing game. Once you've made them all, all four, they're now actors. So they now come from the library. They're out of the library. They're out of storage. They're now live and we can use them. We've in effect made a copy from here across into here. Drag and drop and bring them all in. Resize them appropriately. I'm going to line it up with the, the rectangle there. Whatever size you like, you can make them all identical by changing the uh, pixels up here. Maybe 125 perhaps. Maybe make them square. You can make a decision about that. Keep it 50. Drag and drop each one and place them on your menu screen. All four are dragged and dropped in. And I've made them all 150 pixels by 125. So we're going to add a title to the screen, to the menu. There's one that's provided called App Making. You can, uh, that didn't come across for some reason. The one that's uh, included called App Making. You can use this one if you like. You can create one of your own using maybe cooltext.com or on Photoshop or on any software you like. You could even use it, uh, you can even make something in Word and take a screenshot of it um, to end up with a nice little title. So I'm going to bring the title in as well, resize it and get it all looking nice. Now I'm going to use this title uh, to play the music, our background music, that extraordinarily annoying music. So find, oh there it is there, the play music behaviour, there it is. Different to the play sound behavior, we need to play music one. It looks for a different file type. This will look for the music files rather than the OGG files. Associate it, and we want it to loop continuously forever and ever and ever. Let's see what that sounds like. Terrific. You can, of course, bring in whatever music files that you like. Um, and add those to your game, particularly when you get to design your own game. The next, uh, the next step is to associate these buttons with the mini games that we're going to create with the other menu items. So if I select the Whacker Monster, and then we need to uh, go to our library here and go to our behaviors. And there's a behavior at the top, top here. They're known as uh, conditions. A little C next to them and touch. So basically, I'm going to say when this button is touched, something's going to happen. So when it's pressed, it's going to do something. And so the thing I want it to do is to navigate to a new menu item. And to do that, there is a change scene attribute. Change image, change scene. There it is. Drag and drop that into the do column. So I'm going to, when it's touched, I'm going to make it go to the next scene. That actually moved where I didn't want it to go. Right to the next scene, which is going to be the whack scene. I'm also going to have it play a sound when it changes. So we can scroll down to the play sound attribute. There it is there. Drag that in. So it's going to change and it's going to play a sound. What sound shall I choose? Let's choose the cartoon Boeing. You can use whatever sounds you like that's there. I'm going to turn up the volume ever so slightly. Let's have a test.
And you can see that it's changed to the whack scene. We need to apply the same to each of the other buttons. So for rolling, exactly the same. We look for the control that says touch. Drag it in. When it's touched, it's going to do things. It's going to play a sound. So we can add that in. Doesn't matter what order you put these into. What's it going to do? It's going to play a sound. Choose the sound. Slight, choose your volume level. And then also choose the uh, move to the new scene one. Change scene. Add that in. Whoops, stay still. To the, in this case, the rolling scene. Do that to all four. And then we can move on.